And my name is Ryan Mears. I'm the prosecutor here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, and just want to let everybody kind of know a little bit about what we do here uh, in Indianapolis. Um, the first thing I wanted to j just kind of share with everyone, you know, when we began this conversation, we're constantly looking for ways to how can we have uh, opportunities to interact with with young people. And uh, for those of you who can't see on the screen, I'm six foot five, former college basketball player. I love the game of basketball. And that's a good way to, to begin conversations with young people a lot of times. And so one of the first events we did is we gathered up all the area high school basketball coaches. Uh, we had Trace Jackson Davis, who is an All-American in Indiana, who went on to play for the Golden State Warriors, lead a discussion about youth violence and how we can maybe better equip young people to deal with violence that's taking place in their community. And through this discussion, one of the things that we saw is that young people very much uh, want to do a better job of, of leading on this issue, but they really struggled with that leadership development component. So one of the things that we decided to do was start our Youth Violence Prevention Fellowship Program from that discussion. And what our Youth Violence Prevention Program is, we get kids from all around the city to come into the prosecutor's office. They get to meet other elected officials. They get to interact with law enforcement uh, and really get a better feel for how government works. But we also try to develop young people into leaders so they can be a leader in their school and their community on their block to hopefully keep, keep kids away from, from gun violence. The other thing that it does for us is it really allows us to better understand what young people are facing, and it helps us tailor our message to young people in our community. Uh, one of the things that we learned is that uh, young people don't always necessarily want the prosecutor's office to be the messenger. So how can we partner up with different community groups so they can provide a message uh, that hopefully will resonate with young people. The other thing that these young kids really talked about was how they really needed to, we needed a message that, that was uh, presented to them or conveyed to them in a way that was maybe a little bit different than how we consume media. And so really, it was not only the messaging that was created, but how that messaging was going to be delivered was really based on these conversations with the kids. I think the other part of it that really helped us is they design the curriculum, they design what we now offer to young people when we go out into the community, or young people that we deal with through juvenile uh, justice cases, the programming that they're getting is very much influences impact by these youth violence prevention fellows. Uh, and we think it's been way more effective, uh, way more pertinent to what's going on because it's driven by young people. Uh, we had great conversations with traditional media about our youth violence prevention fellowships, uh, where young people were given that opportunity to have uh, meaningful conversations with the local newspapers, local TV stations to talk about uh, youth violence in our community. Uh, the other thing that the young people encouraged us to do was you need to be more active. You need to have more of a presence. Uh, so in addition to our basketball camps, we started a soccer camp. Uh, we partnered up with many different schools, trying to figure out ways how we can get into schools and really just develop relationships with young people to let them know that here at the prosecutor's office that we truly care and we want to make a difference in your community. Uh, the other thing that we very much took away from our youth violence prevention fellows was they talked about the challenges that they face as young people. And one of the biggest issues that they face is social media and the dangers that exist online. And so we designed a program to really head on directly take on some of the issues that young people talked about. Uh, we see far too much violence that originates from social media issues. Uh, we see far too many people become involved in selling guns or drugs uh, through social media platforms. And so we develop Project CyberSafe, which is when we go directly into the schools to have conversations about these dangers, how you can protect yourself. It's everything from not sharing your password to how to avoid getting into confrontations to if you do see something inappropriate online, what's a responsible course of action. Uh, we try to make it as interactive as possible, where we have the kids really drive the discussion about what they're dealing with. And then we talk about some of the legal ramifications. Uh, sexting is a real problem uh, amongst young people. And when we see some of the things that, that have been put out there, unfortunately, we can uh, give them real life criminal prosecutions about how young people have ended up on the wrong side of the law from some of the things that they've been doing online. And it's been a really great partnership with schools around Marion County. Uh, and it's been another way for us to have really meaningful discussions with young people about sexting, about violence, about some of the issues with drugs and guns that take place uh, around 
young people. And we're able to do it more on their terms because we do it uh, in, in a way that that's more of the, the Socratic method as opposed to us just trying to dictate to them this is what the issues are. Uh, we've literally been in, I think we did 68 schools last year. Thousands of children have been served as for both young people and adults. Uh, and we're proud of that programming, but uh, we're also proud of the opportunities that we have to have those face-to-face -face interactions uh, with young people. So that's just a little bit about what we have going on at the Marion County Prosecutor's Office.